BST here, Valence Peace Tech, Android 13 Developer Preview 2. I'm right now running the Android 13 Developer Preview 1, and minutes ago, guys, Google announced they released the Developer Preview 2. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna check my Pixel 4D update, install it, and I'm gonna guide you to the change log, and of course, whatever is there to be tested, I'm gonna test it because have in mind that this is really very early stages of Android 13, and some of the things will be really intended for developers. But it's still very exciting, and yeah, let's check if I have it. I've entered my settings, I'm gonna go to System Update, and let's see if we are going to get it. My system is up to date. What will happen if I press the check update? Checking for update and boom, here it is guys. System update available. This update will install a developer preview version of Android 13 is TPPP2 220218.010. The pre-release version may contain errors and defects that can affect normal functioning, etc. It is 378 megabytes, guys. So without any further ado, I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna install it on my Pixel 6. Why? Yeah, because you know I do it, so you don't have to do it. Once I have here Android 13 developer preview 2, I'm gonna guide you through all the latest updates. Stay tuned. So while I'm waiting for the Android 13 developer preview 2 to be installed, let's just check the release notes. I'm gonna be putting the link down below into the video description. Release date is the 17th of March, right? So just minutes ago, guys, I told you the build number and etc. Uh, you can just see here different versions from which you can get to the developer preview to, and now let's just see the supported phones. Of course, you can get it on the Pixel 4, for Excel, 4A, 4A, 5G, 55A, 66 Pro. Okay, let's just see what the new things are. So, what is new in the developer preview 2? Android 13 DP2 includes several new features and changes to try out. Wow, foreground services, FGS. Task Manager. Okay, let's start with the first one there. Android 13 allows users to stop forward services from the notification drawer regardless of the target SDK version. This new affordance called FGS Task Manager shows a list of apps that are currently running a foreground service. This is the labeled active apps. This shows quite interesting, by the way. Let's see if we are going to be able to get it. User action stops your entire app. When the user press the stop button next to your app in the FGS Task Manager, your entire app stops, not just the running foreground service, which is actually quite nice. The way I understood it, if I want to kill an app, everything related to this app, all the services to this app, connected to this app, will also have to stop. Then we have Improve prefetch job handling the job scheduler. All right, job scheduler provides a way for apps to mark specific jobs at prefetch jobs. Okay, this is the function there, meaning that they should ideally run close to and before the next app launch to improve your experience. So in Android 13, the system now tries to determine the next time an app will be launched and uses that estimation to run prefetch job. The battery resource utilization. So Android 13 introduces the following battery preserving measures. Updated rules on when the system places your app in the restricted app. New limitations on the word that your app can do when the user places your app in the restricted state. And new system notifications that warn users about excessive background battery usage. And yeah, see, uh, we're almost there. So just enough time to just check everything here. Next function is the runtime permissions for notifications. Okay, Android 13 introduced new runtime permissions for sending non exempt notifications from applications. This change helped users focus on notifications that are most important to them. So we can expect apparently changes in the behavior of notifications. Improve Japanese text wrapping. This is probably good for everybody that is out there. So text use can now wrap text by Bunsetsu, the smallest unit of words that sounds natural or phrases. Okay, I think that's a huge thing for people that are using the Japanese. Uh, alphabet, proof line heights for non latin scripts, uh, more against, I think, formatting and etc. Improve the display of the non latin script, so Tamil Burmese, I think everybody uses this, will probably benefit by using a line height that adapted for each language. Yeah, so this is the way it looks in Android 12, and this is how it looks now in Android 13. The text conversion APIs, so people who speak languages like Japanese and Chinese use phonetic letters in matters which often slow down searching. Oh, okay. So now in Android 13, apps can call the new text conversion API so users can find what they're looking for faster and easier. Actually, that's quite nice. Then we have Unicode library updates, faster hyphenation. This one here is interesting here. 
color vector font. So Android 13 adds rendering support for CLR version 1, color version 1 fonts and updates system emoji to use the color version 1 format. This is a new and highly compact font format that renders quickly and quickly at any size. And you can just see, this is the one vector emoji on the left. So this is the color version one vector emoji, which looks very crisp and sharp. And this disgusting on the right one, which is the bitmap emoji, okay? And then I think guys, probably the two most important takes. And right now my device is being optimized. So we are almost there. I'm gonna give you, of course, a live view, but the two new changes that I think will probably sound like the most important from this release, Bluetooth LE Audio, which stands for low energy. This is the next generation wireless audio built in to replace Bluetooth Classic and enable new use cases and connection topologies. That's very nice. I mean, if they put it there stock, this will mean we can get a uh, device like this that supports this uh, new codec and etc. Then we have MIDI 2.0, which is very important for everybody out there doing music, using a lot of controllers and virtual instruments and trying to sync things. So the MIDI 2.0 Android 13 adds support for the new MIDI 2.0 standard, including the ability to connect MIDI 2.0 hardware to a USB. So here we are guys, the system update now has been installed. I had to wait one hour to get this thing optimized. I'm gonna hit right now the restart button and we are going to witness the loading time of Android 13 developer preview 2, okay. So let's see. Usually the Pixel 6 is booting very, very fast and I have a feeling after I updated it to the Android 13 developer preview 1, it's even faster, right? And also this phone is used by my kids, so yeah, I'm gonna show you. I, I have tons of apps, mainly games, 90% games. But hey, this is the first boot, so let's just boot the phone, and you're witnessing right now in real time the first boot, and then I'm gonna show you guys some of the new things. Now, have in mind, a lot of these things are intended to be used by developers, so of course we cannot demonstrate everything. But I have some clues, guys, so I'm gonna walk you around, and of course we're gonna see how this thing behaves, and yeah, just waiting for DP3, waiting for the first betas. It's very exciting to have Android 13 in March 2022 because a lot of phones even are running right now in, with Android 11. So not all of the guys out there do have Android 12. And Android 13 is certainly very new. Now, you know there is also the Android 12 L. There's a whole other thing. All right, this is here the first boot. See, Android developer preview. Okay, let's press OK. I have entered my pin code and yeah, now witnessing the first load, finishing system update. And I do always give this advice to my viewers. Whenever you update your phone, why the first time you reboot your phone, just don't start using it immediately. Cause you know, things like this. This also happens on Samsung, on Xiaomi and many of the other phones. Oh, all right, no notifications. Yeah, that's, uh, that's weird. Okay, I promise you to show you something. See what I have here on my phone games games more games yeah so what i'm saying is this phone now is being used by my kids it's not so bad at all so let's just see guys if we do like this all right okay uh okay tp22 this is the, oh wow the new thing here you see one active app okay this is here the new one active app oh wow okay good i like this and by the way, the power button is also down below. It was not like this. The power button was not there and also the cock wheel for the settings. Your device has received a custom update. Android beta and developer previous build. Okay, I know it's like this. Let's go now to about phone and go to software. But hey, Android 13. Yeah, it's nice. This is nice. This now has been... Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, are we gonna get something there? Probably not, but you know, it's for the first time that we have now Android 13. The security update is from March the 5th, because in the very first version of Android 13 Developer Review 1, we still had there Android 12. So this is certainly new. Okay, let me just do, let me just open you. Oh, wow. This is the other new thing, guys. Allow you to, let me just do some screenshots. Allow you to continue sending you notifications. Jesus. Okay, I will now press allow maybe. Let's go back to the tool. I'm gonna press allow. And now let's just go here. Where was this thing? One active application. If I press the information, I can see, okay, that's the Garmin Connect app. All right, this is really, really cool. Let me just do a screenshot, okay? Screenshot working quite nice. I'm gonna press here, I'm gonna do another screenshot. And what will happen right now, guys? I will now press stop. Oh, okay. Now it stops, you see? And when you stop it, it's just gone. 
All right, let me just see here some of the things. There's something safety, it's weird. I'm not sure if I've seen this before, so let me just put safety here, okay? All right, security and privacy, what's this one? This is now new, guys, absolutely new. Camera available, we have the microphone available, we have the location available, so, oh, okay, I get it. Now, these are the toggles. Okay, this is really nice. Security settings. Okay, then you have the security dashboard. Whew, okay, quite nice. And I've seen some other things there which are weird. The home one. Oh, okay. Everything now integrated. You see, I can turn all... Let me just show you guys. If I do like this, you see, all my lights are killed. I'm going to turn them back on. Boom. And one more time, killing the lights. So, Google Home integration right now here from your quick settings. And this is actually quite, quite nice. So, this for me is new, the home one. And also the security and privacy thing, which I think this was the one called safety. And just scroll and search for some more new things. Okay, we are checking together with you. Everything else here was already available there. So, I think here those are the new things. So, let's just see you now the version of the launcher. Okay, and also this one, by the way, this one is absolutely new Android 13 DP1 first release. So, it's very beautiful the animation for the wallpaper, etc. If we go to the home settings, guys, and we go to about, yes, the application info, that is the Pixel launcher right now. The version is Tiramisu, which is also you know, known as Android 30. Everything running. Quite nice, I would say, like all the recent tasks and the menu. So let's do a screenshot. Yeah, everything works like okay. You can share it. You can try to manipulate this. So I really think this is going to get better and better. Let me just try to search for some new things. Let's try to open one of those games that my kid installed. Boom. Yeah, you see, directly hit. Do you want to allow extreme SUV driving to continue sending notification? No, sorry. Thank you very much. I don't want. Let me just also try to see what happens if I just put Spotify on. Okay, the search, how the search works. Okay, we probably can try to play something. Yes, and you know, I hate this. I hate this sound and vibration tool. I just want them to redesign it because, you know, right now that's okay. When you click like this, I just want to expand like on one UI and not like this. But okay, it is what it is. Let's try to play a song right now. Let's say this. Oh, wow. This here is new, I guess. Yep. Let me just try to do it one more time. I'm just going to open the Spotify again. I'm just going to try to play again the song. Right, the song is now playing. Yes. This looks very, very nice. And when you click this phone, okay, you can just connect it to your earphones and etc. Well, I can tell you guys, Android will become more and more polished. This is something that I'm not sure priority mode. This is kind of like the do not, the do not disturb mode, but was it there or not? I cannot remember. But guys, this has been the Android 13 developer preview tube. Please like the video, share it if you want, subscribe for the channel. And with that said, guys, Yep, this is really here the channel and you go there and you subscribe. Please you and your families stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, over and bye.